Hey there guys, I'm Cody Mayo, and this is Cigar TV. And on today's episode of Cigar TV, we are doing a review over the Dark Shark. So, the Dark Shark. As you can tell, it is a Maduro wrapper. Uh, Maduro cigar. Uh, strength is about medium on this cigar. Uh, as you can see, on the band itself, there is a picture of a shark smoking a cigar, and the rest of the band is bordered with a red line and gold finishings on the inside. It's a pretty simple uh, band, and it doesn't really stand out too much, but at the same time, it draws you in. So, yeah. So, this cigar is pretty uh, cheap. It's not going to be an overpriced cigar or something that's uh, very <coughs> low in price either, but for what you get, it is actually a decent cigar. You can get a pack or a bundle of 20 for about $32, 32 or $35. And you can get them from uh, Cigar International. <clears throat> In fact, Cigar International is the only place I've seen them, but yeah. So let's get into the flavors of the cigar. Uh, see how well it smokes. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about the cigar at the end of the video. Alright, so it's not an overpowering cigar like I said earlier. Uh, there is some nuttiness to it. Uh, I'd also like to say that there is a wheat like taste to it. Definitely there's that wheat taste to it. Uh, also, it's almost like a uh, roasted like flavor also. So, it's not too bad. It draws pretty good. On some of them, on other ones, it depends because on a couple of the cigars, they may not uh, draw very well. So you're going to have to use like a cigar draw poker on them to open it up. Uh, so far, uh, out of the bundle that I have here, uh, you know, I've had a few of them not draw very well and a few, a few, a few of them uh, have had good draws on the cigars themselves as well. Uh, let's see. It burns a little bit unevenly, but I don't expect too much out of these cigars after having them for a little bit now and like I said they're not bad but also I don't think it's gonna be one of those cigars that uh, you would feel bad about throwing away if you had to uh, say like you light up a cigar or something and you know something comes up and you have to put it out or do something with it but you really don't want to because you've just spent a lot of money on that cigar or whatever this, I would say, isn't one of those cigars that you would have to worry too much about uh, just tossing aside or just leaving there and forgetting about it or 
if he wanted to come back to it later, I guess he could, but uh, sometimes the relight on these cigars, uh, let's just say it's better off uh, not being relit, in my own opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good cigar for what you get. It's one of those cigars that I would call it like a my car cigars. Uh, part of the cigars that I may just keep in my car, you know, just in case I don't have anything else to smoke and I'm in my car and I can't get anywhere at the current moment to get something better. It'd be one of those types of cigars. It's like a backup cigar. So, yeah. Not to say that it doesn't have its good qualities. The construction on them are pretty well, despite sometimes uneven burning and the draw sometimes not being uh, good. I mean, because it has a broadleaf dark Maduro wrapper, it also has long filler tobacco, and it also uses Cuban seed tobacco. <coughs> To, uh, for this cigar, and yeah, overall it's not a bad cigar, but I don't think it's the type of cigar that I would smoke on a regular basis, but, you know, that's my own opinion, and uh, yeah. It's definitely... A cigar to pick up and try you may be one of those people who likes them I know that I turned one of my friends on to them and he really does enjoy this uh, in particular cigar <coughs> which is completely fine <coughs> and uh, yeah if you don't got a lot of money and you're looking for a, a, a good cheap cigar to hold you over to you do get the money to uh, be able to purchase those other cigars that you may find of better quality then this would be a perfect cigar for that but as far as a daily smoke I wouldn't say that it would be that type of cigar for me but for you it may be a different story so yeah if you like this video and would like to share your own opinions on this cigar or have any uh, questions about it please leave those down in the comments if you have not yet already and would like to see more videos like this one please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell in the corner of the screen to uh, stay up to date on all my upcoming videos also if you would like to leave suggestions tips tricks or future topics for uh, my videos Please leave those down in the comments as well, and also if you'd like to see some behind the scenes and see what I get up to in my day-to-day -day life, what I may be smoking or what I do as a full-time job, because YouTube really isn't a full-time job for me, it's more of a hobby. Uh, look me up on Instagram at CigarTV91, and... Uh, Follow me on there so you can see what I do uh, behind the scenes or see what I might be smoking or see what I uh, am up to in my day-to-day -day life. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there and stay smoky.